Can you make me co-host? Gina, if you can hear this, we'll be, we'll be there with you in a second. Oh, there we go. Hi. Yes, I was muted. Uh, no, you're not in the room at all. So you use the public link. Okay, Alan, the town Zoom link is not working. Uh -oh. Let's see. Who is trying to get in? Julian right now, but probably other people too. Who? Okay. Yes, yeah, I heard that. Um... I'll have to send them an invite independently. Yeah, how do I do that? Uh, I see. Uh, invite. Maybe. Invite, okay. Oh, for crying out loud. The invite's coming from SK Farber. What's your email address, Julian? Julian, what's your email address? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. H-Y-N-E-S, yeah. So one J-R-H-Y-N-E-S. Then what? We are, we are being recorded. Don't repeat it. Okay. Um, once again, a nuisance. Hold on. So yes, we're being. Did you get the link, Julian? Oh, Ellen was able to join. Brit's now here. Ellen's Ooh. joined twice. <laughs> I did. Brit, you can change your name. Yeah. 
<laughs> Britt has your name listed. Oh, I didn't oh, notice that. That's because Ellen, Ellen sent me the, the link. link. Link on I the website. The, yeah, yeah. Okay. Alan, can you send the link to um, Shoshana and Bennett? I can't we'll have say a third, a third Ellen. Shoshana said she couldn't come, correct? Yeah. Send it to Bennett? Yeah. And Sarah's in, but she hasn't turned on her camera. Hi, I'm, I'm on my phone. Um, <laughs> I'm actually in between two meetings, so I'm just lurking in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> whose iPhone is that you Julian is iPhone you Julian okay chaos. okay yes hello can you hear me yes so change your name I'm going to promote you to panelist okay Got it. Okay, so I think we now have a quorum. It's 5.40, a little bit late, but uh, sorry for that chaos. I don't know what happened. My computer needed to update all of a sudden and uh, it didn't work. So although some people got in with that link, so I don't know. Anyway, um, hi. Um, I will share the agenda briefly. No, okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Share. Can you all see that? Yes. Good. All right. Are there any members of the public here? Doubt, doubtful because the link is broken. Yeah, so I'm gonna try <laughs> broken also before we go anywhere. Okay, I have to stop sharing to do this. All right, so, um, all right, welcome, Julian. Approval of the October minutes. And by the way, I was reading up on this and uh, even if you weren't at the meeting, you can approve the minutes having read them and believe that they're correctly stating what's happening. So um, that's according to Robert's rules of order, so. Um, Julian, are you can you get back on screen? Okay. So all in favor of approving the October minutes? Aye. Good. All right. So minutes approved. Um, we need a note taker. In fact, we need a secretary or someone to be regular note taker, Bennett. Um, is not going to be able to join us very often. It was nice he was at the tree work day Saturday, but so any of you three or Sarah, do you want to take notes? I or... can take it this time. I don't want to do it all the time, but okay. Well, thank you for that. We will need somebody to step up and do that. So um good. So you'll take notes, uh, okay? Let me just make sure. The only other person here for the notes is Gina Etheridge. E T H E R E D G E. Did you get that on? Yep. Good. Okay. Um, the public announcements, volunteer hours. Julian? 
Uh, probably nine for me. Okay, Britt? Uh, if we're counting the planting from last month, and let's say five. Okay, Ellen? Three. Three. Uh, Sarah? I had probably 12. All right, Sarah, please send me your minutes. We'll have to find out from, uh, well, Bennett was there for the planting, so I'll give him three. Okay, uh, housekeeping done. Um, chair's report, let's see, where's my list? Um, yeah, we need, a, we need a secretary or note taker. Um, <coughs> It was nice to see that the Cummington Tree Alliance, Alliance um, had a gathering and Richard Parcelletti, the um, tree warden from Northampton spoke there. I would have loved to have gone to it, but I couldn't make it. Um, it's nice when other cities and towns nearby are doing stuff. Uh, Springfield recently passed a significant tree ordinance. So it was nice to see. Um, Shoshana had talked about, she had gone to those meetings about redesigning downtown and talked about how we need to change the zoning to deal with setback issues. And um, that's something we should keep on the back burner and really be thinking about how we can approach that. Uh, the town manager is being evaluated again. And um, if you wanna send comments, you can do that. Uh, I can send you the link if you want. And then um, the social media stuff, uh, Phyllis Lara, her report did not mention us. I don't think she heard about it. And it'd be really great when we're having meetings and we're having work days for her to publicize that. People read that, so it'd be good to get that happening. So Julian, can you make note of that and maybe talk to Shoshana, one of you, make sure it happens every month? Yeah, I'll email Phyllis because she'd been doing it for a long time and I guess stop. Um, so. Yeah. I can I can send her an email. Um, other updates for me are that I had a, I guess, sort of curiosity point, if you will, about um, about the ability for us to do. We had it in the indie. We had the events our event in the indie, and we had our event in the uh in phyllis's thing that goes out in the bulletin and i'll make sure of that again my question is you know how the gazette publishes their columns that say okay we are these are the meetings for the week and they publish our meetings in that column but they don't publish our work days in that column so I was thinking I might email Scott and be like, could we also get our work days published in that same column? Well, Scott is no longer working for the Gazette. He isn't? No. So um, that's unfortunate. Um, I don't know who really handles that. But the meetings are taken off of the website, the meeting listing. And um, so the question would be, can the town put on the list of town meetings that we're having a work day? And yeah. I don't know what the answer is to that, Alan. Yeah. Do you know? What was the uh, sending the uh, workday photos? Sorry. Um, what was the question? Well, when we have a meeting, that's automatically picked up by the Gazette because we're on the town calendar for town meetings, and we're wondering if the workdays can also get on the town calendar, and um, that way those would be picked up also by the Gazette. Yeah, we would. Um... You'd have to post. I would have to post those meetings, I guess, on the calendar. Post the work days. Yeah, the work days. Well, I mean, the um, second Saturday tree plantings aren't necessarily posted on the calendar. It's just right. the yeah. Uh, so you want to have all second Saturday tree planting events or work days posted on the calendar. Is what you're saying? Yeah, I would love that. Okay. Yeah, that that can be done. I need to be <laughs> I need to remember to do that or be reminded to do that um, before each event 
the week before each event. Yeah. Julian, can you take that on to remind him? Great. Okay. That's good. Um, I heard from one guy who was upset about trees being taken down near his property, but it turns out they were in private property. He said he might join our meeting tonight, but uh, either he couldn't get in or he didn't wasn't able to attend. And that's about all. Brooks might be interested in joining the committee. So that'd be nice to, at some point we'll have an opening, but meanwhile, it's nice having him involved. And okay, that's all for me. Anything else, Julian? Uh, no, I think that's all I had. Uh, Laura McLeod sent us, me, Alan, <laughs> an email just a few minutes ago. So I gave her like some resources and stuff um, about what the town's tree bylaws are and that. Um, I don't know if she's doing a research project or something like that, but um, I figured to just provide her with sort of the base information on our committee website. Great. That's great. Uh, she also emailed me and I'm not able to deal with that right now. So I told her I would talk to you. So I'm glad you did it already. Good. Um, okay, Sarah, are you able to give a treasurer report? Yes, I can. Just a second. Okay. Our current account balance is 11887 and 35 cents. This includes uh, the deposit um, that was the uh, the pay in from those trees that were removed. That was back in April, which was one thousand nine hundred and twenty dollars. There was a one hundred dollar deposit in June, the seven hundred fifty in July um, that was coming for the town hall planting. And there was a twenty nine and ninety four dollar deduction, which was a payment to Cole's building supply. Okay, that that was for the um, the hardware cloth, I think, right, Alan? Correct. Okay, and the hundred dollars was the do the donation for the uh, woman who wanted to plant a tree in honor of her brother on Station, not Station Road, um, Stanley. Stanley. Yeah. Good. All right. Thank you, Sarah. Um, thank was, you. There was something about an encumbrance that we were dealing with. Did ever that ever get resolved? That's a good question. I did not ask about that. It was still um, on the account as of January, 2024, a $48 encumbrance. Um, I will follow up on that. Um, unless Alan, do you have any updates? There was some paperwork that needed to be filed. That was, um, I'm trying to remember what that was for. So we, the committee voted to, to spend money on something. It was an invoice that was, was that the invoice handed in for the copying or? Maybe it was a rollover. So I believe it was quite a while ago. Yeah, I I would need more information to follow up with that. Well, I'm happy okay. to do it. Um, I'm just not sure where to start, so. All right, I will follow up and get some details and um, and then be in touch. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Okay. Uh, next, um, social media report. Anything else, Julian? Is Julian nope. still here? Yes. Nope. Can't hear you. Nope. Can you hear me now? Yes. Nope. Okay, thanks. All right. Um, well, then Shoshana's not here. So we'll move on to presentations and discussions, which is second Saturday workdays. I thought our um, Saturday workday was really nice. The weather was great and we got a lot of work done. And it's really nice to be in the nursery and to see the trees even though they're not doing that well, it's nice to, to be there. And um, this couple came, I don't remember their names, George and anyway, it was nice to have them there and Bennett was there, so it was good. 
Uh, we'll do a work day in, in December, second Saturday, to make the tree guards. And we'll do that at my place. We have a workshop building on the right-hand side when you first pull in the driveway. It's a red building. And uh, meet there at 9 o'clock, and we'll make the cages. And then we'll either go out and put them up, or if we don't have time, we can sort of do that as our, at our leisure to protect the trunks. Any questions or any other ideas? No? All right, so then there's next year, and Julian started that list, and I forwarded it to everyone. Sorry for the wrong <laughs> subject, but then I fixed that. And I added um, um, Cushman Common as a place that could use some trees. So what was keep the two places. What was the end of that email? It said like in Vivo something where you need to include a different location there. I didn't hear that. Uh, at the end of your email, you had Cushman Common and... In oh, and the environs in the area around that. Oh, I see. Got it. Okay, cool. Yeah. So anyone have anything to add while we're talking about it? or? I, um, just for next year's plantings, the, uh, I did talk with... Um, person in charge of the Amherst College properties, uh, not the rental properties, but the um, the actual, you know, athletic field area up and down Northampton Road. So we're going to try to meet in the next couple of weeks to discuss tree planting locations and to try to coordinate with on-campus students for, um, you know, tree planting in April. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, good. All right, so we've got plenty of places already, but uh, we'll have to figure out how to prioritize them, but we have time to do that. I just want to say on that note, I think having trees along Route 9 in that area that's owned by the college that has no trees would be great. Um, it seems odd to me that the town should be providing resources for such a planting. Um, and so, yes, I think getting, like if the committee can serve as an organizing collaborator, I think that's a good strategy, but the town should not be paying for, I, it, this is my you know opinion, you know, the, the college should make some kind of contribution um, to the planting of trees on their own property, even if it is for a public benefit. I agree. No, we're, we're working towards that. So you'll, in your talking with them, you'll ask about that? Yeah, I think they can plant on um, the college side and we can plant on the, the opposite side of the road um, in front of private property on that side, so. There's lots of space, so. Yeah, great. Yeah, that is great, good. All right, look forward to that. Uh, anything else on second Saturday plantings? No. So tree nursery next steps. Um, I guess it'll probably be the spring, we'll get the new trees and then add them in. Correct. So that'll be one of our work days next year will be adding the new trees to the nursery. And that's generally going to be, that's going to be April sometime, really April. Okay. I think. So maybe we do two work days in April, or maybe that's the April planting. Okay. Uh, environmental justice neighborhood planting. Ellen, did you get anywhere with that? Um, I did. TD Bank website did not make it easy. It was a lot of circular searching, but I did finally find what we were looking for. Um, it's the TD Green Space Grants Program, which is out of the TD Ready Commit um, program. Uh, they funded 11 cities in the US in 2023, and um, none of them were near us, um, which is good. Uh, da, 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 da. it's a minimum requirement of $5,000 and up that didn't have a maximum ask. So I don't know what that is. 
Um, they have deadline at the uh, end of this month on November 27th. And if we go for that deadline, uh, the decision we'd hear by the end of January, 2025, um, all grants require impact reports and the impact report would be due in October. Or we could go for the deadline on Friday, January 31st. We'd hear a decision by the end of March 2025, impact report due in 20, um, December 2025. Um, I will reach out to the grants person there to get some more information. Um, they want you know, financial information, um, what our organization budget is, a copy of our 501c3. I don't know if that's something that the town can provide for us. Um, mm -hmm. Otherwise, we have to give a full financial audit and completed tax returns, which we don't have. Um, I mean, we're not a 501c3, right? So like the public committee correct. is different. Correct. Yeah, the town would be the applicant. Right. right. Yeah. Okay, so it would have to go through their whole, we'd have to submit the, the last available audit statement for the town of Amherst. Is that correct then? Right, the town applicant would be applying for the town, would apply for the grant um, with the committee being the you know, people managing it. So does this mean that the grant writer for the town needs to do all this work? Not, <laughs> not me? No, not necessarily. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, DPW does lots of grant writing. Um, and, uh, you know, that if you want to pull together all the um, information, who mm -hmm. we're supposed to contact and the forms, um, we've got some groundwork that looks like to do Again, they're going to want to know a plan, which we don't have. Um, again, it's kind of that uh, interesting cross. We're trying to do this on private property. And we just need to have the committee do the legwork to reach out to the private property would be good. Um, well, we have. There's a lot of crossover here. I mean, there's we could get the police department involved. We could get the crests involved. I mean, you know, I can you can. There's a lot of work the town is doing to reach out to, um, you know, underserved neighborhoods in town. So um, there's a lot of opportunity here um, to to try to make this work. Ellen, does it does it require any like collaboration across the town, or is that something that we could work mm -hmm. on? Like, I don't yeah. think it. Um, Ellen could probably speak better on this because she's probably read the application. But it probably, um, you know, the more people you bring into these projects, the better. Um, they want to see different departments and different parts of the community working together. So. We could get a letter from um, town manager in support of this. Alan can write for the DPW. So, you know, it's already can happen pretty easily, that stuff. I, I might just caution, you know, I don't, I'm not saying anything at all negative about the police department um, in any way, just to be clear, I might caution us on attempting to build a relationship with an environmental justice community. Um, I think Cress might be a more appropriate partner for that to start with. I know, um, I, I hear you. And um, I know the police department, you know, they they work with a lot of youth. I mean, they go, they're in the high school every morning before school even starts with mm -hmm. with kids working in the gym and, and there's they do rope courses and stuff. So, I mean, they're in these neighborhoods. They always have been. Okay. Um, so um, obviously, uh, you know, we could just, we could offer the opportunity is all I'm saying to them if they want sure. to have that, so. Okay, and that's useful background. I didn't know that, so. Yeah. Ellen, there's also the state program. 
which may actually be a little easier to apply for. And I sent you that email. Mm, you did? Yeah, it came from the um, the tree committee website, the tree committee email. Okay, I don't remember getting that one. I'll send it again. Okay, right. please, because, yeah. yeah. And I think there's no rush. If we did the January deadline on the TD Bank one, then we hear in March and we can plant spring or summer. And uh, at some yeah. point, we'll have to let we the, just, and the boulders yeah. know. Yeah. I, I, we definitely need to have a letter of support from the management, property management company. And I think, Henry, wasn't Mindy Dom going to reach out to them or? Yeah, she did. So we could get that done. All right. I'll go back in touch with her when when we know what we're doing. They're they're based in New Jersey. Yeah. I yeah I don't know. Again, I have to reach out to the contact at TD Bank um, about the. Um, it it gives us a list of things that we have to supply, like board members and jobs and all this stuff, but. Um, I don't know how formal this invitation is. It, it's again, not a super easy thing. Yeah. I appreciate you taking it on. Sure. Yeah. I hope I'm not forgetting something, but did we end up talking to the Dom about the earmark in the state budget? I, I didn't hear I didn't hear that question. Did we end up talking to Mindy Dom about an earmark in the state budget? Yeah, she can get us earmarks. Uh, I think it's the end of the year we would do that. But if we're applying for grants and we have a good chance of getting it, then she right. would you know right. do the earmarks for us. But that is an option. Okay. So um I do I do think that um we fit into uh the mission. Uh, one of the missions, there's four branches of the TD Bank community mission statement. And one of them is environmental. And um, they they're, they have a goal of uh, planting 1 million trees um, by 2030. So I do think um, we can, I, I think we're, we're, you know, we're going in the right direction. Um, Again, I don't know how detailed they're going to want. They do want a project title and a project budget. So we would then have to at least have some sense of how many trees we're going to plant, you know, but I don't know if they're going to require, uh, you know, maps and all that. I, I just, again, need to, I'll reach out to the, to the person, but um, I can't like get into the grant to apply yet. So I, I don't know the specific questions. Got it. Ellen, Ellen, when you get to that point of writing the grant, I'm happy to help. Okay, great. Thank you. It did look, and maybe it's just because you do have to be in a community with a TD bank. Um, and I guess they're mostly on the on the East Coast because they funded projects in Connecticut, Maine, Pennsylvania, New York, Rhode Island, Maryland, Florida. Yeah. So Oh, good. Anything else on this? I will reach out to Mindy and to the Brook and the Boulders and uh, see what happens with that. But I'm heading out of the country Thursday, so I'm not going to do anything pretty much before our next meeting. But certainly before January, I can do that. Okay. Are you coming back, Henry? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm coming back. I'll be back... Uh, the day before our next meeting. Just, just in time. Yeah. I come back uh, Monday morning. We have a meeting on that Tuesday, the 10th. So, yeah, I'm back on the 9th. All right. Uh, old ongoing items. B City in the Town Hall Garden. Anything new on that? Um, looks like it's all going to be happening next spring. Yeah. On B City, um, I just got past to a third counselor um, 
to serve as the sponsor. Um, this counselor seems very enthusiastic and hopefully we can get it done by the end of the year. But if not, then before the spring. Um, so, yeah. Do they, um, do they require the garden the plantings to take place ahead of time? To yeah. show that you do it, it's you apply for no. it and to do that to maintain it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, Mary Maple Table, anything new on that? Still in my house. Yeah, um, yeah I, I, I guess this is kind of related. I'll share that I, um, I wrote a book manuscript for children about the story of the Mary Maple, um, nonfiction, and um, it will be pitched to editors in the new year. Um, so that would be cool if it turned into including like the idea of people picking up wood from the tree and making, making things out of it, um, and then passing the torch on to the mini maple. So, um, yeah, that would be fun if it, if it ended up as a book, I'll keep you posted. Awesome. Yeah. Does the book have a title? Uh, right now it's just the Mary Maple. Okay. All right, I assume there's no website update uh, since Bennett's not here. State level initiatives, uh, nothing's really happening with that. And then significant tree ordinance, Sarah, anything on that? No. Okay. No, no updates. Um, the guy who contacted us from, he was from Hillcrest Place, and he, you know, where the private trees are being taken down. He was like asking, isn't there anything we can do to stop this? So I wish I could say, well, we have a significant tree ordinance, but yeah, you know, uh, that's a very long-term project. So I understand. You said, that, you said Springfield just passed their significant tree ordinance. Do you know how long it that took? I don't know. It was I an article. We had one think. long ago. I thought Springfield had one put in place in the seventies. Because when we at the um, I met somebody on the Springfield Tree Committee at the um, Tree City USA award ceremony in 2023, June of 2023, and they were saying that they were one of the first cities to have this. It's trees over a certain trunk diameter. Um, I think it's like 36 inches. Um, so they I think they've had it in place for some time. Well, maybe they updated it. So they did something. I've read about it and I can't remember now, but they, um, they did, Henry. They um they the past ordinance was not very enforceable or well written. Um and uh, the new ordinance is, is better detailed in how it gets enforced and everything. So it's um it's a much stronger um um ordinance. Yeah. And is that something that like is adopted by the town council through the resolution process or like what, what does that look like? I would think it would be. Um, yeah. yeah. Or, or it would be like an amendment to the bylaws and some, I, I don't know. So, okay. Yeah. I, go, yeah. go through the planning process and put it into, um, yeah. It'd probably be similar to the ordinance that we did pass you know, on um, protecting street trees. And, the, you know, we did pass that ordinance and that had to go through a variety of different uh, committees and then went to the town council. Or, mm. Yeah. Did that go through town council or town? That went through town meeting. Town council started in town meeting and ended up in town council. Yeah. yeah. And we essentially created the structure for the tree warden and town manager to make regulations around um, tree replacement in public shade trees. So. All right, well, anything else? Any other comments? No other topics? I think we're I, done. Um, oh, I, ahead, uh, I do have something. You oh, I didn't the, really, you I just didn't skipped the tree words report. report. Sorry. <laughs> okay, Alan. I don't have much to report, so that's good. Um, 
No, I just wanted to say, um, and officially stated on the Zoom meeting that's being recorded, that uh, Sugarloaf Nurseries uh, and Garden Center um, donated over $8,000 worth of trees again this year. Um, some very nice large trees. Um, I'll read them off for you. Uh, two river, two heritage river birch. Um, uh, one, and these are clump birches. Um, and then some smaller, a smaller clump of river birch, two dogwoods, two coos of dogwoods, uh, two crab apples, prairie fire, and red jewel crab apples. Um, Henry's favorite, uh, lilac tree, uh, four London plane trees, uh, wow. four American elm, um, Valley Forge uh, elms, and then uh, uh, four 18 inch uh, taxes for um, some of these plants are going to go over to the new pump station on Southeast Street. The rest of them are going over on uh, West Street where the new bus pull off is being. They've, they've um, installed two new bus stops and installed a uh, splitter island in West Street to slow traffic down um, over by Potwine Lane. So these trees will mostly end up along that stretch of road there. Great. What was the first tree you mentioned, the first species? Uh, it was a heritage river birch. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So um, it'd be nice if the committee would write a nice uh, thank you letter to um, Sugarloaf Gardens, and I'll write one. Um, and if we could, the committee could post something again in the paper like you did last time, um, you know, recognizing their their um, donation and commitment to uh, trees. That'd be great. Okay. Who has the cards, the thank you cards that we have? Sarah, do you have those? No, I never had them. Okay. I think we don't know because this has come up several times. I think I, no. I might have them or I might have given them to Shoshana. So I'll reach out to Shoshana and ask her to send it. And Ellen, if you can get that into the minutes, um, then we'll make sure that that, uh, that gets done. All right. I think Bennett wrote a letter last time for the paper. Um, that was nicely done too, nicely worded too. Yeah. And I don't think I have anything else. Um, I wanna thank Rich, he offered to, to sit in in my place. I can't make the, it was hosting the uh, month, this month's uh, Tree Wardens board meeting in Amherst. And unfortunately I can't be there and Britt stepped up and offered to go in my place and represent them. Um, Amherst at the meeting uh, last minute, one of my staff uh, who's going for his ISA certification um, just started going for his, uh, to take the test, it expressed interest in going. So he's gonna go instead tomorrow to the meeting. Um, but uh, I wanna thank Britt for that. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been a good summer. It was a good summer of tree planting and work days. Um, it was a really nice summer of getting just enough rain not to have to water as much. And then we've moved into this drought period where um, we're watering a lot just to keep the soil moist around the newly planted trees. So um, overall, I think we had a good good planting season. And Saturday was great um, with everybody planting at the nursery. And uh, we'll get some more trees in there. And we'll probably get some of those planted next next year, so. It's all good. So the trees that Sugarloaf um, donated, are they in the nursery right now? No, I left them at our shop um, because they're big. <laughs> um, they're big bald and burlap trees, you know, 300 pound root balls easy. Um, so, uh, and I'm, I'm hoping, I'm gonna try, uh, not this week, but next week to get these trees planted, so get everything in the ground. Uh, 
Julian's back in. It looks like. Do you want to say something, Julian? No. There's a couple of people in the. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, sorry about that, Henry. Um, yeah. for whatever reason, my technology has not been great yeah. tonight. The only thing that I was going to add was I had, um, a question about like when will we be able to for a lot of the planting locations i listed the stumps need to be ground first so is that like something that can happen before planting next spring over the winter or where are we with that good question um so i am putting together another a list of stumps to be ground um our the town stump grinder the power unit for that is gone and um probably not going to get replaced so we're not going to really be able to grind stumps uh, within house for a while, but we do have the money to, to pay someone else to do it. So we're going to do that. Um, so I don't know if, if you want to share those locations. I'll see if those stumps are already on that list and I have to get those done, you know, this fall or throughout the winter, if there's no snow cover, um, get those ground out. And... Yeah, sure. I guess the main, two locations I was thinking of was North Whitney Street and uh, like Lower Main Street um, near the East Street Common, but a little up the road. Hmm. I'm trying to think on North Whitney. The two trees that we took down this summer up there. Yeah. Yep. 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 Nice. And Lower nice. Main Street. Um... I think there was an, maybe an ash in a Norway maple? Hmm. Oh yeah, we took down some ash on uh, the corner of um, Main and Southeast Street by yeah. the wall there. Yeah, yep. those did get ground. Okay. Um, that intersection is going to get reworked in a couple of years probably because okay. the school project Right. going to need to redo that whole intersection. So, okay. Um, but yeah, definitely, you know, let me know wherever your questions about stumps and I'll make sure to uh, Excellent. Can we, can we get the emerald ash borers to eat through the stumps? They, they do. Come? They they don't eat through wood. Remember, they feed in the cambium. So <laughs> um yeah. They they All do right. feed on the stumps though. I mean, if the stumps are still sprout, you know, if they still have vigor in that sap wood, they will after you cut the tree down, they'll still go into underneath the bark on those stumps and try to lay eggs. So, yeah, that's incredible. All right, well, I think that on that note, we'll end the meeting. Thank you, everyone. Uh, Helen, if you can get me those minutes, if you get it to me tomorrow, I can get them done and out to everyone before I leave. So if not, then whenever. Okay, I, I'm not sure I'll get to them to finish them tonight, but I will try. Just not okay. feeling great. <clears throat> All right. Thanks, everyone. Okay. Thanks, thank everybody. You. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Alan, I hope everything goes well tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. We'll see you soon. Bye. 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 Oh, no, I want to see.